Hello everyone, today we will continue learning Python and today I will write calculator using evaluate function and our calculator will have a history in it. So let's start. First of all, what I will do is creating a class of calculator. So class calc or calculator let's write. And now uh, define initialize. So what we should provide here? First of all, a file in which we will write our history. So file, or it's better to write file name because we'll open file here. And then what I do here, cell.file equals open from file name. And we open it for writing. Okay. Then what I, not writing, but let's open it for appending because we want to append uh, our information in our history file. So then I want to create a function called, um, I don't know, calculate. So that function will return uh, the result of our cal calculation and we should write expression here. Expression. What I do here? First of all, I will return expression and before returning, what I want to do here is expression equals evaluate from expression. So what is evaluate function? Let's have a look at Python console. I'll open it here and for example, we have 2 plus 2. It equals 4 in Python. And if we write evaluate 2 plus 2, and uh, as an argument we should provide a string what will happen it will return 4 so evaluate simply evaluates an expression and if for example i will do something like evaluate um, and then string for example hello plus string a it will return hello a but we don't want our calculator to return hello a because it's a calculator and what we can do to avoid that that problems First of all, we should provide, uh, we should make sure that expression is a string because evaluate ex accepts only strings in it. And I can write str here and now we are fine. Or we can write if is instance expression and comma string. So if our expression is an instance of string. If our expression is not an instance of a string, what we do here is rating uh, type error, for example, expression so expression should be string. Else, if our expression is a string, we should make sure that we don't have any letters in our expression and how we can do it. So, first of all, we can replace every... I can do something like this. So, expression expla uh, replace plus with an empty string dot replace minus with an empty string dot replace uh, dividing with an empty string and then dot replace multiplying with an empty string okay and now we only have numbers in our expression and we can use if expression dot replace dot replace dot replace and so on dot is numeric uh, i'll show you what this function means so what expression replace does let's have a look here we have a string uh, a hello hello and hello to for example and if i will call a dot replace two with an empty string, it will simply return to from our expression. And what is numeric function does? So if you have a string, for example, one to three, string one to three, and I'll call is numeric, it will return true. But if you have string one to three, g, for example, a dot is numeric, will return false. And that's easy. So if our expression is numeric, if we have only numbers and we um, simply what we can do here is just simply expression evaluate and return expression. Else, well, I can raise value error and we should provide only. Okay, now everything works fine and we can um, test our calculator. For, for example, I will call calculator. So we can calc equals calculator, create an instance of a calculator and we should provide a file name here. So for example, and then what I want to do is calculator dot calculate and we should provide an expression here. Let's write 2 plus 2 minus 3 multiplied by 10. And let's print our expression and let's run our code. It says minus 26. Everything works fine. But what if I'll add, for example, uh, 2g here and let's run. Only numbers are allowed. Everything works fine. So if we go to our history.txt, it says nothing. And now I want to write an expression and result of an expression to our open file to our file okay what i can do here is 
save.file.write and we can write uh, some, for example, expression and then expression is equals to, okay, and now expression is equals to our, let's write eval expression here, so evaluated expression and expression is equals to evaluated expression here and we re return evaluated expression in our function. Okay, and now let's run our code again. Only numbers are allowed here. Uh, yeah, because I need to remove G from here. And now let's run our code again. It says minus 26. And now let's have a look at our history.txt. Minus 26. Everything works fine. But uh, you know, I want to add slash N here. Okay, and now the, we have another error. Uh, what if our calculator will be when we close our file? That's a problem. So uh, it's better, you know, it's better just to have the file name. So file name like that equals to file name and when we evaluate our expression we simply open our file so you can write cell.file.open or with uh, file with open cell.file name with append mode as file and then file.write with context manager closes file after we wrote an expression here and it's just better, you know? So now let's have a look here again, if everything works fine. So uh, let's write, for example, three multiplied by 10 and 30. Yeah, everything works fine as you can see here. So good luck.